Lord, oh, we worship you, we humble ourselves before you, we're not worthy. That's right, you're not worthy, and he is worthy. So if you can come to that agreement, and then it's like, okay, good, now we can agree, because now you know you're not worthy. That's what God is saying. He doesn't say it like that, because it sounds kind of mean, but that's a supernatural reality. He's worthy, and you're not. you got to remember that so you'll ever stay strong in God. He's worthy, and you're not. You'll never be worthy, and he will always be worthy. And so every time you come to him, you come to him as if it's your first day coming to him in your first life. I'm not worthy, Lord, and you are. I'm not worthy, but you are. Lord, you are worthy before time even began. And I'll never be worthy, even though I'm only a speck in the middle of time. I'm a speck in time, and you are the master and maker, and you spoke time into existence. You spoke time, matter, and, and space right into existence. Time, space, and matter all into existence, all in one shot. When in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and this earth was without form and void, and it was like the gospel that we have in America. It's there, but it's without form and without void. It's barely there. It has a form, but it doesn't have any power, and that power is what all the flesh, because of sin, has fallen from the glory of God. Not just knowing that he's real. Not just acknowledging that the Bible is true. That is good. Profession and faith in Christ is good. But the power of God is what we've descended from because of sin. And until we get back into the bridegroom's chamber, I tell you, we still are in sin. Go to church. Be a good person. Believe the Bible. Believe Jesus' deity. Believe it's the ascension. Believe the virgin birth. Believe in the blood atonement. Believe in prayer and fasting. Believe in the triune Godhead. Believe that he is the only God. Believe that there's no creation on any other planet except this one. Believe, 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 believe. Ascent. Make a mental ascension to all these glorious fundamental facts. And you're still not into the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the Holy Spirit is someone who lives there. They renew their mind and they live in a mind of God. They live in a understand by now why they didn't fast. There'll be no wisdom, there'll be no knowledge, and there'll be no tongues. When you see the Master and the Christ on the right hand of the Father in the beauty of His splendor, trust me, you're not going to be fasting. You're going to be gasping for air on your face with your crown at His feet. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah.